Uh, Seton O'Connor, by the yes. way, uh, poll question today is going to be. Yeah, we got a few. Uh, Dan, as you know, we on Mondays we do best and worst of the weekend. Yeah. So we could start off with, now this is biggest win of the weekend. We could also go with biggest winner of the weekend. Okay. All right. So uh, where would you like to start? Biggest win or biggest winner? I'm going to throw biggest winner. Yes, Paul. I, I got to throw him right out there real fast. Brian Kelly of LSU. If you look at the what was said about him a month and a half ago when they lost to Florida State and people were bailing on him, making fun of him, it got a lot quieter making fun of Brian Kelly these days. Nobody's making fun of his accent today, and we thought maybe come up with a uh, Cajun accent now. Well, the show just started. <laughs> oh. I mean, give us some time. The show oh. just started. Oh, okay. I was fully planning on making some type of reference oh. about how he hasn't won all of his games yet. <laughs> I what? do believe. Going for two, big stones. I loved it. That's a great call, I going for it. two. That was awesome. I, I was like, hell yeah, dude, let's go. But I liked his philosophy. Uh, here is Brian Kelly, the LSU head coach, going for two. Before the game started, if you asked me, hey, I'm going to give you one play, and if you're successful on that one play, you beat Alabama, I would have taken that 100 times out of 100. And so at that moment, it kind of hit me that way, and I knew we had a really good play that we hadn't used and they hadn't seen. And when you get five out on the perimeter, you know, you, you truly have a threat. And so I felt really good about the play, and it was well executed, and um, that, that was the thought behind it. I would have started out with his, his normal accent, and then as you got closer to the very end, then you start to lay it on a little thicker. The perimeter. Yeah, when you get five on the perimeter, <laughs> it's a play they haven't seen before. But I would have started with just my normal my normal accent. Yeah, after that one, he can go Australian accent. <laughs> he can do whatever else. God's a crikey. <laughs> I'm going for two. Whatever. They don't care. Uh, uh. You, you see that field? That's great. Uh. This program is brought to you by Discover. We could talk about how complicated other banks make it to redeem credit card rewards. We could talk about how with Discover you can redeem your rewards for cash in any amount at any time. You can learn more at discover.com slash redeem rewards. What other uh, poll question do we have there today? Well, Steve? we still have the rest of that poll question, okay. Dan. No, oh, let's oh, slow oh, down, oh, okay? Okay, all right. Three-hour right. show. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you've got the flip side of Brian Kelly. Marcus Freeman, that's a hell of a big win for him. Notre but he, Dame. But he does it when Brian Kelly has a bigger win. <laughs> and it, so Marcus Freeman and Notre Dame beating Clemson, uh, that's a big deal. I think Clemson is who we thought they were. And this is where Dabo Sweeney's probably got to make a decision that he made uh, when he had Trevor Lawrence and Kelly Bryant. And, he, and Kelly Bryant was a good quarterback, but he basically said the guy behind you should be in front of you, and he's a difference maker. He's once in a lifetime. He doesn't have a Trevor Lawrence, but I think the backup quarterback is uh, – a a freshman, true freshman, and DJ Uyungle le, 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 is uh, not doing well. Not the a, guy. He'll yeah. be at Memphis next year probably or something. But uh, might be time to make a move there. Yeah, see. What about Georgia? That's a big win. Yeah, you know what? The, the score is deceiving there because I'm watching, and Georgia was great in the first half. Then it started raining, and then it was kind of sloppy, but that's a deceptive point spread. Uh, the margin there, because it felt like Georgia was a far better team than Tennessee. Yeah, and it's like it's not the same kind of win that uh, Brian Kelly had, or you know Notre Dame. That it's a different type of win, and like cementing themselves as number one. Like, yeah. yeah, we are the best team. Yeah, yeah, Paul. Yeah, you're right. Like at Tennessee, if that would have been like 35-3, then they're in real trouble long term. But it felt close enough where you don't ding them as bad as it could have been.